Hello, 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 everyone. How are we all doing today? Steve again. <laughs> all right, looks like we're already into a fun start in our, uh, in, um, our chat here. <laughs> But how are we all doing today? Before we get started, as the title says, the d <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to episode 23 of the d <laughs> Listen, I can use the music because it's through Epidemic Sounds and we have a license through Epidemic Sounds, so... Yay? <laughs> but, um... Today, we're gonna be running the d -Bev. And, uh... Today we're gonna be playing the, um, yeah, these guys. We're gonna be playing the sessions that come with the route. Um, I haven't played the sessions. I've, I've ran the route a few times, you know, just exploring. But I haven't played the sessions. I haven't gave the sessions a go. And I'm wanting to do that today. So, other than the d theme song, I'm gonna throw in all the other songs that we have, you know, as our background music. Is the music too loud? Don't need to turn it down. Um... I think I'm gonna just turn it down just a wee bit. <laughs> Music is fine? Okay. But before we get started, before we jump into the, these guys, I wanna hear from you guys too on the, uh, like, as a, as, a per, as a vote, remember just to say anything that you guys do in chat, we're no longer gonna be spamming anything, because if you spam something, your account might get deleted by YouTube. So, no more spamming in the chat, unless you want your account to be banned from YouTube. I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no more spamming in the chat. Just look up what Mark Markiplier went through this past weekend. But, uh, other than that, uh, before, before we get started here, which session should we do first? These are already numbered, so one, two, and three. Should we go in order, or do you guys want to try another one first? I plan to go through all three of them. Union Pacific says three. So we got two for the MOW. I mean, we're going to do all, we're going to do all three. But which one would you guys want to start out with? Getting a bunch of people for uh, three for the MOW. I'll take one, I'll take one more. I guess I, I guess there's really no choice. Everybody, everybody's going three. I'm down for two. Sounds interesting. In, tw in town switching. We got MOW, and I'm gonna be using the rail driver the entire time. So this is gonna be a a little bit of an experience. So. Quack, quack here. One, then two, and then three. Dave wants to go in order. You guys are saying one. Should we go in order? Should we just go in order? Four. Yeah, one, two, and four. Okay. So we'll, so we'll just we'll just go in order. So we'll start with uh, Fishman or er, Fleshman's gravel run, right? And if Joe, if you're watching or watching in the background, or if you're going to, uh, if you pop in later, you can correct me all you want. <laughs> uh, length is two hours. Length is one hour. Length is normal. Wait, that, that reminds, like, does it, hold up, hold up. How long, how long does it say that mine works? I'm just curious, I'm just curious. View sessions. It doesn't tell me. <laughs> I guess I have to put in that stuff myself. But this we are doing the drive up in the Sopus Valley today, so we're gonna start with number one. This one's gravel run. So this is the uh, big one. This is uh, two hours, and this is uh, supposedly the really hard one. That there's you have to do it a certain way or else you fail the session. So I'm I'm not gonna try to fail the session today. Knowing me, I'll fail in some 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 way. <laughs> in in some way. Okay, a lot of y'all want to go in order, so we'll just go in order. 
Grab some popcorn and some cold ones. It's going to be a long day. Exactly. Exactly. And we're here for the ride. If you haven't got the D-Bev yet, I recommend getting it. You can get it from Join the Reel. Oh, lordy. So now we're just waiting for this to uh, load up here. MG's Butters, how you doing? Oh! I'm completely, you know... <laughs> stay up late, what are you talking about? It's a 7.30. Um, let's, uh, before I get started here, while we're sitting here waiting here, waiting for this to load, let's say hello to everyone that's in the chat. Union Pacific, 8444, or, or 844, 84, 4, and 4014. How you doing? Kevin Joyner, how you doing? Virginia Railfan67, how you doing? Patriot Works, how you doing? Andrew S6997, how you doing? I Butter, how you doing? CSX RR man, how you doing? Uh oh, we're loading. Hagen Brian, how you doing? Union Pacific 1973, how you doing? Uh, Conroy C40 2 Railfan, how you doing? Southeast Railfan Productions, how you doing? Justin Rogue, how you doing? How you doing? Dave Studyman, how you doing? And Big John, how you doing? I think that's about everyone. Ohio Railfan Production, how you doing? And yeah, I believe uh, I believe that's got everybody. <laughs> it's only seven thirty. <laughs> well, it's seven thirty on a Sunday, so I mean I've been up since about two thirty today because I work you know, like half you all know I work night shift, so I don't get up till late anyway. Oh, reloaded in. Good morning. Today, you'll be running up the Fishmans to switch out their gravel loads. On your way back, you'll need to switch out the covered hoppers at Gill's Farms. This is actually a really nice song to start this out with. Oh, yeah. All right, all junctions are manual. Obey all speed limits and make sure every crossing, every every crossing lights before proceeding. Okay. First, couple up to the gra empty gravel hoppers on track, on track three. Okay. All right, so here we go, I guess. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. My rail driver's not working. <laughs> I can't have that. I have to use a rail driver. I can't use this system down here. Uh, don't save. We'll come back. I have to restart trains. We have to restart trains. We have to restart trains. Give me just a second. I like how the Conway freaking theme song comes on. That does seem a bit loud. I'm going to turn you back down. Let's try it again. Hopefully this time my road driver works. <laughs> I'm going to make a 10 hour bit of you laughing. Okay. Oh, Z. Alright. Yes. Yes. Alright. Let it do this thing. This doesn't seem right. Does that say Joe's? That's <laughs> something Joe's over there. This doesn't seem right. The Conway theme song playing while I'm running on the D-Bib. I shouldn't have. Alright, can I have my road driver? I guess not. My road driver is not wanting to work now. Why? It's plugged in. It says it's using on trains. What the heck's going on? Train settings. Enable game controller. All right, is anybody else having a problem with the rail driver on the D-Bev? 
Or is it just me? Because it looks like I'm going to have to use this mode anyway. Brakes are released. I'm in forward. What's going on? Apparently my red driver doesn't like you. Dude, what is that horn? <laughs> hey guys, um... My train's not wanting to move at all. How are you sliding? There, you don't have any brakes! Can someone tell me what's going on here? <laughs> Yo, I need help. Uh, can someone get Joe over here? Ask him what's going on. There was, oh. Do I have to wait for him? Am I locked in place? No, it's not that I'm lagging. You guys see this, right? I have it. I, all the brakes are off. Here, I'll release it again. Release that one. Power. Nothing. Conroe's coming in over there. Um, all right, so what's causing that? My brakes aren't releasing. Why is my brakes not releasing? <laughs> Rail driver's not working. What's going on? Hold up. As a test. As a test, before, like, just to see if it's just my, my issue or something else. It's obvious your train is high. My train is obviously high. Alright, so, let's go to realistic mode. Um, Alright, apparently we're driving that. Um... Just for reference, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put down the same locomotives in the same exact spot. Where are we? Oh, okay. I see where we're at. So it was that, that, something else in between. Uh, where are you at? It was a Conroe, wasn't it? That's a caboose. Well, these two would do fine for now. Why would you connect? What? Connect. Alright. Do I have... Alright, I have rail driver capabilities now. Brakes are releasing. And we're moving. Oh, this is a dead track. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Hey, uh, you get over here, please. Thank you. <laughs> it looks like we might just have to do this in free mode. <laughs> the session was causing, causing me a problem, I guess. Do I have to wait for Conrail? Is that the thing? 
We'll see. Well, here we'll go back, and we'll sit and wait for Conrail, and we'll see what happens. Is it music too loud? See, I want to do the session, but I don't like the fact that my rail driver doesn't work. Oh, now my rail driver works. Maybe it's just trains. Maybe trains was just having a heart attack. Yeah, now my road driver works. What the heck? Alright. Conroe's gonna be coming from over there, right? So. Alright. So, it says to couple up to these guys, so that's what we'll do. Let's see if it will release my brakes this time. No, it's not releasing the brake cylinder. It still has 214 PSI after I release the brakes. So, we're gonna, we're, as a test, we'll sit here and wait for Conrail, wherever he's at. Where are you at? There you are. Come on, dude. Stay here and wait for Gonrail. And as I guess when he starts coupling up to them, that's when we get to move. So I have the brakes released. But I have I'm able to use my rail driver now. No, Chris, you're just too quiet. I'm too quiet? Yeah, okay. Pretty sure you have to wait for Conrail. Okay, so we're gonna we'll wait for we'll wait for Conrail to get down here. First time, first couple up to the empty gravel hoppers on track three. Well, I would if the brakes would release. I don't get is why the brake cylinder is still at 214. Alright, come on in. Because apparently we gotta wait for you. Come on. Go on. Get, get going. Hi, Ralph M. McNeil, how you doing? Hi, Josh BNSF, how you guys doing? Lightning Dash, how you doing? I don't know if I said hi, hi to you a while ago either. I'm Fuck Southern Ralph Fan, how you doing? Z, Husky Ralph Fanner, how you guys doing? Sup, SP was here, how you doing? Sup, Bubble Butt, why you call me Bubble Butt? I have no butt. Have you seen me? I am nothing but twig. <laughs> oh, I got I, I got a really uh, I got really southern just then. Go on. I want to be able to move, and apparently you are my key to move. So come on. I want to do this session. What doesn't make sense is that my road driver didn't work before, and now it works. But now the brakes won't release. Twelve years later, it got slightly faster. That's tough. <laughs> That's a tough puppy right there. Come on. Can I move? Hello? I'm gonna put him in the emergency. Bleed all the brakes. Then release it. 
still nothing. Brake cylinder will not release from 214. Can I move? No. Guys, it looks like we might just have to do this in a free session. Let's go try one of the other sessions. See if it lets me move in one of them. M-O-W. Let's try that one. Oh, Suburban, just uh, just letting you know, letting, letting, you, guys, letting you guys know. Um... Um... Don't spam in the chat your your account may be suspended by YouTube if you do that. So, don't don't spam the chat. The foreman intends to do some track rehabilitation up near Frischman this afternoon. We're gonna bring a cut of MOW equipment through the crews working up there. Alright. You'll first need to couple up to the gondola here in the yard. Once that's completed, you can proceed with. Pick up the rest of the MOW equipment on the OSS, o OOS siding, track two. Make sure to keep the caboose at the rear of the train. All right. <laughs> Watch that brake cylinder. It's not letting me release on any of the sessions. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I have all my brakes released. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um. Somebody get Joe. <laughs> Happy birthday to all Marines. No, 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 just don't spam anything. I think we might just have to do a free session. Um, and I'll get in contact with Joe to see what uh, might be causing the problem. Because I wanted to do this live. I've never done any of the actual sessions. I've drove on the route before, but I've never done any of the sessions. There's always something, isn't there? There's always a problem with something. Oh well. More quick drive, we'll drive our own train. Bailing off at the DK. Well. <laughs> no, we ain't going to Conway. So let's run a let's run a train at the fishman, should we shall we? How many cards can fishermen take? All right, just take me back up here. Wait.
All right. Turn those off. We've got our lights on. About 50 will do. 25? 1,000? All right. All right. Yeah, we should add uh, one of the, the caboose too, shouldn't we? Speed limit is 10, so we gotta keep her steady. I do like the horn on this one. Heard some of uh, Reggie's crossings that you can get from Reggie'sTrains.com. They are these are some of the free war ones, if I'm not mistaken. Free the free war GRS, I do believe, aren't they? The GRS type. Over speeding. That's a demerit. <laughs> Do 30. Put some scrap guns in there. Like, let's see. those are getting loaded or something oh crossing random cars just popping up and stopping <laughs> We're about to smash this truck. All right. <laughs> go, uh, go right through him like he's nothing. Emergency breaking news. The DBEV has received government funding to upgrade the line for high speed rail. Session terminated. <laughs> I do I do like this effect here, how it was once double double track and it's just all grown up. Nicely done. Alright, so we got a little while before. So let's hop on board for a little bit. Oh, we're out of the 10, 10 so let's crank her up to 25. As we make our way into the uh, the dry book and the Sopus Valley, 
branch. Making our way up into the Catskills. Take a look outside the cab. It's a bit rocky, don't you think? Maybe this is why they needed a, a MOW, but we couldn't. <laughs> we couldn't do anything because we couldn't move. Reggie said to hit hit a button. We'll try that after he, you know, just rock up here. You gotta go. We'll, we'll catch you later, Conroy. I see where that's too rough, man. Thanks for stopping by. Reminds me of an ice. I see ST forty two S two ramming into the semi. <laughs> yeah, we was uh, we was a part of the MythBusters just then. Anybody watch the MythBusters and remember when they uh, took a train into a semi truck? Or was it a car? I think you done both. It's a nice little effect over there, those uh, apartments and stuff like that. It's nice. I don't think I've seen those before. Have those been around for a while? Those outlet stores? Oh, crossing. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Top Gear did a train into a car. Shaking a lot in the cab. Oh yeah, we're rocking. Making our way. Can you do a robot somewhere where, where it's rocking? Yeah. Get her back up to speed. Look, you can see it rocking from here. This right here is one of my favorite spots. I, I love when, he, when uh, Joe does this kind of stuff with uh, bridges, over, with, with overpasses over rivers and lakes and stuff like that, because that looks beautiful. Tane's days are numbered. Remember kids, always wear High visibility jackets when racing a train at a crossing so you they can identify the body. <laughs> Where the heck's my train? I keep blowing a horn. Oh, there he is. We slowed down a little bit. Oh, doing 13. Because I didn't have no power. I guess we're starting up the grade now. Tane's days might be numbered, but, uh, like, people will still use TS-12, so it, Tane's still going to be around for a good while. Tane will still be being used after the next 
version of Trains comes out. Trains Rural Simulator 2022. All right, now we're rocking. I think a semi truck would be going through that little Unless he lives there, I mean, you never know. Who am I to judge? Whoa. Alright. Flag out of nowhere just yet. TRS 2006 is still relevant. <laughs> Yeah, I've done every run on the PMP. Living in a house. All right, just imagine we're in some uh, rock and roll music video. But it's the day bed. <laughs> Trains one point zero. <laughs> what was that? Trains virtual model railroad or something like that? Look at the horses. That a horse? That is a horse, my friend. That is a horse. Make our way into the Catskill Mountains. MSCS is still kind of relevant. You're not wrong. We got eight miles until the, that red signal, so I do believe that's where the uh, the bridge is, the uh, the end of the line, rather. Is that red signal? Somebody just fire up that alcohol behind me. Did you hear that? This is one of my favorite areas that he's done too. Don't know why. I just really like this, like the fact that these people are like have like have this going right through their backyard. And that was me at one time. I had that going right through my front yard, really. So just keep it at the speed. As that Alco blows up behind us. Alright then. MSTS is relevant because of open rails, mostly.
Oh, the, t the TB seasonal trees are uh, not in the shape. <laughs> we ought to make it where they are. We'll put it back to June. June 10th. And we have to go up into the map. Come back down somewhere else. Let everything load in. Oh yeah. There we are. That's better. Train rides. Look, you can get train rides. You can ride with, you, with me. You, you just need to turn around. Um, I don't think those cars are equipped to ha ha Well, I won't say that. They are equipped to have people. We can we can just you know <laughs> throw them in the back there. You know. Three point four miles the other way. Turn around. So wait, they only run on Memorial Day and Labor Day. I guess. That's what the billboard says. As we enter the dry brook. Wouldn't that be funny if the railroad actually went through a dry brook? I mean, it, you run around next to one. <laughs> No, look, they, they actually built a railroad to a dry brook. Oh. And then they get record rainfall. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> yeah, our track gets washed out three times a day. Springtime's, uh, springtime's the worst. Yeah. We're coming up to the first uh, little area. This is uh, dry brook itself. The, the Drybrook Station, where you can get on the bike trail. Or the hiking trail, or whatever you, you want. I want to take some Reading and Northern stuff on this route. I don't think it would be too out of place. No, it, it wouldn't really be. Except maybe the farmland. The Reading, well, I don't know. Like, other than, other than the... Uh, Dbev itself, the Dbev railroad. Uh, what other railroads could you guys see? Like in chat, what other railroads could you guys see running on the Dbev? Like that would actually, you know, fit. As a serious question. No class, no class one. Well, I don't know. Well, CSX and no Fox Seven maybe as like short, short line haulers. Wait, what's the question? Like, what other railroads could you see running on the D-Bail? Uh, short line. Like, realistically. And, uh, um, okay. RJ Corman. Yeah, RJ Corman wouldn't be a two out of place. Um, and he's, um, Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Uh, Rail USA. The people yeah. who own the Florida Gulf and Atlantic. I mean, I'm trying to think, because it kind of looks like if you're going through, like, the... The, through the mountains in PA. The Genesee and okay. Wyoming? Well, the G GW is the parent com company. Well, I don't, I don't know. Is, are they still keeping the GW name because it was just sold? I have no idea. It's it's all now, like, privately owned now. It's like, so. The GW was the biggest short line hauler in the world, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, GW owns a portfolio of 120 short line railroads. I wanna know how much it sold for. CN or maybe CP? Maybe, I could possibly see you, like, right. this being maybe so, somewhere up in Canada. So the GW got sold for 8.4 billion with a B. Okay. That's a lot. Heck yeah, that's um, a lot. Somebody's like, here, you want a railroad? Yeah, it's 8.4 billion. <laughs> okay, just slaps the money on the table. <laughs> Alright then, we're in business. <laughs> or rather, we're out of business. Well, there's, well we're going back the back. railroads are still in business. It just changed the parent company. They sold the parent company. This is a nice little view. I'm walking around and... I mean, well... I, I, mean, I, well, um, I could see... You want to see how we can break things? Ooh. No, not really. Ooh. So, Chris, how do you, like, move around like that? What do you, like, the free uh, roaming cap mode? Yeah, it's, um, whoop. main menu, settings, uh, general settings, enable free internal camera, and then move around with the uh, page up, page down to go up and down, and your arrow where, keys. Where do I, where do I go for this? Is this like while the game is open, or is this like a setting? When, when, when the main menu, when your game is open, go to main menu settings. Oh, hold on, you're. Hold on. This can you? Can, will this work? For... Wait, are you you're in twelve, right? Yeah. Or you is have that to do it. Thing? E, it is, but you have to go into it into um the te uh, train settings text up. Oh, yeah. that's gonna be. I'll oh, forget that then. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't become. It didn't become a thing until... Dang it. We still got four miles to go before we get the Fishmans. I have only gone like a little like seven... Like a little over seven miles. There's the entrance to, uh... Did he ever give a backstory about that line? What line? The, uh... uh the, uh, the branch know, line. I don't, I don't know, I never watched the D-Bab. You never watched the D-Bab? Like the series. How do you get rid of the compass thingy when you move around? Oh, that's, um... That's also easy, that's... Settings, general, mm -hmm. um... Yeah, you can't get rid it's of that. Just, uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you, I know you can. I've turned it. Uh, some. Uh, it's, it's something show cursor or something. One thing I would like for trains to um, incorporate would be to. Oh, um, here it is. Um, compass movement. Compass speed, or compass speed, whatever, but you can't see the compass. You can turn off the compass somewhere here in the interface settings. Show uh, here it is. Show compass in 3D view. You uncheck that. That's how you turn yeah. off the compass. Yeah. Hello, Flame Rails. How you doing? Which Flame Rails is this? Flame the one that's on Rails. Fire. Well, it's like, here, who's streaming on Flame Rose? They got like two... Oh yeah, you have like people. three people on the account. Yeah. I think it's actual Flame Rails. Okay. Oh, I forget his... Wait, Dovetail took out Free Roam? What do you oh mean? Boy. Like, they took out the ability to Free Roam? That's what I'm seeing? Not that I know of. No. I think so. Yeah, it's actual flame rails. Hello, Hunter Spoke, how you doing? Okay. Sopak? Sopak? Hey. Is 
JR planning to release some new content soon? Um, unless they've got the AC44s I, 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 almost ready. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say they better. I want them still. I'm, I'm sure for like a commission job that, you know, you know, it's like here, people will just start dumping money to the here, speed us up. <laughs> Can I pre-order it? <laughs> and can I, and can I can, pre-order it? Can I pre-order them? Like, I will pre-order for them. Shut up and take my money! Yeah, I <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Uh, uh um, Flame Rose, it's, it's Michael. Uh, like, I love when Joe does anything to do with water, because this just looks amazing. Yeah. Chris, I think you need to turn up your drawing distance a little bit. I, I do too, the, the trees are kind of... Ugh. Yeah, dude, it's like... There they are! That's much better. How I am I slowing I... down? I get, uh, You have notch 3. Slow down to 12 miles an hour. Get up here, come on. I think I, you could get away with some arcade and Attica on here. We are yeah. waiting for you, okay? We need you for some beautiful screenshots. If you just get up here. I don't know. I'm gonna go uh, through KNL site and see what uh, I think will go through. Uh, okay, where tourist operations? Uh, 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 <sighs> no. Chris. Maybe some Canadian stuff. Hey, David. How you doing? I can get away with some small Canadian stuff on that on the deep web. Well, well, uh, the um, the deep web steam engine is like looks like it is ex Canadian. Uh, Chris. Hmm. I was having that issue you were having earlier in the beginning of the stream. I couldn't Ooh. get the trade to go, so I literally just put it in um, I just like put it in notch A, just just drag the train. How about the Chris? How about the PRR doodle bug KNL? I think that would look great on that. Probably, yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. That's like um, like for their off season, like they only bring out the steam engine like a little bit, and then otherwise it's like the doodle bug. I don't think DC twenty fifty seven is uh in the chat. Maybe. No, I haven't seen them. That is pretty. <laughs> yeah. So what Joe uses are like the TB trees as his background? Yeah. Okay. Screenshot. Now, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like he does much of a mixture of trees for like on the hills. It looks like it's mostly like one kind of tree. I'm just curious. Lucky 13 is an XCN460 G16A number 1129. Who was yeah, Lucky? What was Lucky 13? That's the steam engine on the DBEV. Oh. See, I didn't get the steam engine pack for the DBEV. I should have. I How much is it? I have to go look at it right now. Tourist. Dry Brook. It's 750. That's not bad. And you get uh pack includes the engine, tender, a power car, coach, diner, observation, and business observation, as well as a rusty engine and tender and business observation. Ooh. Honestly, I would take the Rusty 13, and I'd, I'd post it, I'd, I'd send it to like, like a Strasburg map, and have it sit there in the back, it's like, uh, Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Permission to spawn an AI for LAJ, since I'm our yard master for LAJ. Z? Hey, oh, we need... For LAJ, I am yard... Uh, I want to know uh, when you became yard master of LAJ. 
<laughs> That's another one, yeah! I thought Roy was! Oh, hello. Where was this? Or is this not train? No, th this is definitely trains. That's a nice shot. In Joe's server. I think, let me pause the game real quick. I think this is the turn, the runaround here. It is, uh, with the uh, dead station. Do something like that. It's pretty cool how he's got that boarded up and everything. So we're coming up to, fi uh, to Fishman's. And so we need to go around the train, then back it into the gravel. Oh. How's the screenshot competition going in Joe's server? I don't know. Nine, 12, I see is the highest. 13, 11. There's 18. So 18. we need to go in here. Slow your roll. I see tw 24 is the one to beat. Uh, yeah. Alright, if, so if someone wants to go in and put in 11 votes for my screenshot in Joe's server, <laughs> I currently have 13. <laughs> <laughs> I only have 9. Um, I, I was back and forth with, like throughout the week, but Steve has 15. I'm still at 13. I think I peaked at 13. I think it's the most. That's Steve the most just showing I've ever off with the 261 in the comps. <laughs> well, listen, he's he's got to do his own thing too, now, you know. I thought he would have done like a better shot of it than that. I ex honestly, Steve, I expected more <laughs> from your other screenshots. <laughs> Oh, we're up in the map view. Oh, what was this? Oh, the Conroe Heritage Unit is in my area. It came in on, on uh, 38G today. Consolidating the caption, it's all about Big Blue, in an extreme of fortunate timing. NS Corp slash Conroe Con Shared Assets 38G was running a little earlier than usual this afternoon, in the on the, the late afternoon of Sunday, November 10th, 2019. A cloudy day gave way to Sun and the NS8098 Conroe Heritage Unit leading as it makes its way over the Delair Bridge to the CSAO Pavonia Yard in Camden, right. New Jersey. So we're going to get, get her to stop here, uncouple, go around, and then take our uh, cut into, uh, maybe I should have just kept the train on the main. That would probably been smart, but either way. Wait, why can I react? There it is. All right. So we're uncoupled. Hello, only TC. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. On the Drybrook and Asopas Valley Railroad that is created by Approach Medium, you can get the route off Jointed Rail on their <laughs> website. Hi, 
Highly recommend it. Oh, that stump. We just took out a stump. We can't go any further than this. Because this is just where the line just dies for now. Until DBEV Season 2. Yeah. <laughs> wait, is it... Wait, is it Joe working on Season 2 with the <clears throat> bike trail? Oh. Uh. But where he's like, where he's like deleting the railroad to put it in a bike trail, season two. A washout that, came and took out the bridge. No, Chris. You know what? Someone needs to make a, a bicycle asset so you can like ride a bike. Ride a bike along the dry brooker. <laughs> you know, so you can like do a, a bike trail. I mean, we have airplanes and boats and cars. I like how he ca like he still put a uh, mile, mile marker here. Just in case somebody went up here. Mile marker 18. That is really nicely done. So. Hashtag rebuild the deep end. Hashtag rebuild the deep end. All right, so now let's get up here, run around our train. Oh, we need to switch locomotives. You know what I'm gonna do? I probably, I might go get the DBEV when I get a new, once, you know, in a few years here. And I just want to create like a train just going over the edge. Just going like over a, the edge? Yeah, no, just a picture like it, like it's just starting to go over. Thank you, BG. Nice to see you as well. How are you doing? Here's a question. Here's the question: DBEV or Cold Country? As a, for a personal standpoint, Cold Country. Wait, which Cold Country? The original or TRS-19? TRS-19. Oh yeah. That, that was it because was it Joe working on the DBEV for 19, or is he just doing tank? He's doing tank. I think eventually he's going to be bringing all of this stuff up to TRS-19 standards. But he's he's got other projects that he's going to be doing, such as the uh, the CSX. What was it? What was that one? Um, Rochester. Um, yeah, Rochester sub. Which actually, I wonder if he's going to go all the way to Buffalo with that. I want to now. I want to go extend that line all the way down to Erie, Pennsylvania. Go down to Lakeshore sub. Yeah. I I would, you know. See, that's something I would, I, you get a group of guys, you know, here we're building this big map, here you get a section of like, you know, 40 mile railroad. Yeah. And then we just put them all together. All right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you merge them all. Yeah. I think, I think that'd be real neat. That, like a, that would be a really cool idea to try with all the WIT staff. Uh, we'd all have to use the same version of trains. We, so, would, we wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to use the same burger trains. You wouldn't? Oh, yeah, good luck. You, you would start out Chris, on the first 40 miles. I would Chris, do the next one. At, after you merge all the rest, look at the dependency list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that, yeah, you, no, no, what all the links. What would this route be based out of? Or where would well, it be? You, you would just pick a line that you all want to do. <laughs> like, well, one one would be like, hey, if someone wants to build a Northeast Corridor, okay, someone gets like, you know, maybe New York to Trenton, or someone gets, you know, maybe Trenton to Wilmington, you know, and you just work your, you know, do it in sections. It, as an example, not that. You know, you get a section of railroad. No, you're not too late, Rio Grande. I see that be needed. It's... I mean, it's no problem, BJ. It's a really good, it's a really good, uh, good game in my opinion. If you're going to get trains, if you're going to get started in trains, I recommend getting the TRS-19 if your computer can handle it. Yeah. But I mean, excellent. How you doing? So the one game you should start out with is Train Railroad Simulator 2006. And uh, 
I built some horrid stuff uh, in that game. I appreciate that. Thank, uh, thank you, thank you. I, 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 life's been going going pretty well. I have, I have to say, I, I can't really have, I don't really have any complaints. We went, we went and hung out with session. my, uh, except for the session. I asked Joe about that. He hasn't replied to me yet, so he might be busy on something. Maybe he's trying it out. It's like I don't know what you're talking about, Chris. <laughs> I, it, for me, it kind of. I've never seen a brake cylinder go up to 215 psi. That is high. I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, he doesn't have coupler brakes because I just busted right into those cars at 15 miles an hour. I didn't think I was that close. But uh, yeah, exactly, cellphone. I, 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 I understand that. Well, we got some energized morning coming up on now. Thanks. If you don't know, this is the song that was uh, with the uh, route when he released it. It's a really good song. By, made by Gavin Luke. And again, I can use it because I have the license. So, why not get into some cinematics, shall we? First I need Why did the speed limit just die? What the heck? It was 20, now I just went down to 10. Oh, because I went further up on the branch. Going more toward the dead area. That did explain it. Alright. So how's everyone's weekend? Everything everything's been alright, I have to say. Have an updated Chris. Is, no. it, is this included with the Adult Movies Premium subscription? I guess. What? I don't know. What? what? Trying to learn how to play <laughs> Train 2019. Listen, I'm still learning myself, to be honest with you. Um. have a train show next set. Nice. This, uh, the, the, the following Saturday, there's another show. Like Alright. So now that the cinematic thing is over, let's actually do the job. Hmm. That cinematic, yeah, we were just sort of talking in the middle of it. Uh, you need a tutorial video uh, of what, TRS-19? Didn't, in, didn't they have released some tutorial videos? Probably. Chris doesn't know how to use like, strange chat. What are you talking about? I feel like this is gonna leap all over me. Uh, do, do I have? Chat. A, I don't have a new it's message. Called a Discord. Uh, I don't know. Who should I add as a buddy? Uh, who's add on me. the train chat? Yo. <laughs> add, add me, Chris. Add me. What's up? Chat.
Hey, Berkshire, you gonna join or what? Yo. There's so many people in this chat. This is. Oh boy. Wait, what's what is Trade's chat? Hey, who wants to join my multiplayer game? Sure. Who was that posted by I Love You 97? Dude, what up? Not much. <laughs> Who's all these people? Eh? Uh, and just streaming the D-Bib. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I don't know what else to put. Uh, <laughs> I've never really done anything I trained before. Except for maybe a couple multiplayer sessions, but that was about it. I'm playing a multiplayer game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris. Yeah? Go back to the train chat. I mean, I'm in it still. No, the uh, buddy list thing. I think I just, I think I just added you. Yeah. Oh my god, I did. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, that's my, that's my tag there. Pick. <laughs> well, this is a Fun little comic relief, I guess. As we're... I love you. I love you. Ninety-six. What did you want to see? Time multiplayer. I love. I love how for for you it shows that um it shows that I'm like a the, the yellow. But yeah. Not. But for you, it's green. I don't even know how to change that. <laughs> I don't. I don't either. I'm slightly confused on the whole situation. I don't know. Especially uh, the especially the entire trains chat thing here. We're here. Yeah, oh I my know. god! All these people that are joining left, joining left, joining left. Joining left. Joining left. Joining left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks. That's enough of that. Yeah. Let's come to a nice little stop here and see if she loads our gravel. Maybe. Or maybe not. Am I am I have a timer? He test the cars and just let them go. And just go run passenger cars, I guess. Well, I guess that's that, that job done. We'll come back for these some other time, I guess. I think I blew something up. That one locomo back there is just smoking. <laughs> well, it is an alcohol, isn't it? No, it's the Jeep. All right. I'm getting rid of this. Stop being a smartass. Wait. What the? Heck? Oh, you just put somebody. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Why did somebody chat message? I'm uh, just saying, if they, if, you know, if they, if they keep spamming stupid stuff, YouTube does, YouTube's getting on to that stuff too, which well, it's no, kind of, it's kind of a stupid thing too on YouTube's behalf, because they, like, people spam things well, just, no. just for fun. Remember when I was, when I was figuring this out, it was with emojis. Yeah. It wasn't with text. I think. Well, well, like, some of it was knows? with text well, too. Well, who, it could have been. Hey, well, who knows? Maybe it could have been text too. I don't know. Just, that's all. I was able to sort of comprehend from watching Mark play his video because probably a major well no a majority of the video is like I'm trying to get y'all's accounts back. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm like, like okay. Like uh, right now, YouTube is like if you spam a lot of stuff and uh, like it doesn't matter. Like if you just constantly putting in stupid things like that guy was doing, but I put him in timeout for his own safety, I guess. Um, if you keep constantly spamming oh. on things, oh, Big Brother Chris, looking out for you. 
if, <laughs> if, 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 if you keep sp spamming on, con on, on things, YouTube will suspend your account. Yeah. It's an automatic nope. thing. So all I yeah. all I ask is don't spam. Especially constant yeah. stupid smart ass things. Don't need that. We're just trying to enjoy the game. All right. If you want to be a Breaking smart ass, go be a smart ass somewhere else. Breaking no. news: goes no. out of business. No, that's not as good as um. Who's the good one? Who always had someone with the Conway? Oh, I can't remember his name. Hey, Laura Moore, how you doing? Oh. oh. How come I can't remember his name? The guy who always had like the funniest headline for the cop line. It's, it's unreal? It's unreal. That's oh how can I not remember that? Oh, oh we were cracking up. It's it's unreal always brings a good time. That's why he's one yeah. he's he's one of my beta testers, he's always he's he's already been alright. A new release date for the cloud. And if you want to become a beta tester, be sure to subscribe to our Patreon. You go to the Patreon for as low as one, for as low as one dollar. dollar a month. Yep, for as low as one dollar, we got several items you can go ahead and yeah, Any release date for the Conway? How long until the Conway? The Conway is being released December the 27th. That is the release date. It's a Friday. It's a Friday after Christmas. It's like a late Christmas present to all of you. Next week we're going to be uh, doing one more one more build stream, and that'd be the last build stream of the Conway, and that'd be us finishing up the Norfolk Southern side and all the other odds and ends. Other than that, the Conway is finished. I have the session ready to go. It's Tain SP3 only right now. If you run it in TRS19, your crossings won't work, but you'll still be able to run the sessions. Um, just saying, if you want, if. Uh, um, if you're if you have TRS-19 and want to end the month of Conway, it still works. It's still a good. It's, uh, everything still looks all right. Uh, it's just uh, I like how we're talking about the Conway and the freaking Conway theme song is playing in the background. What is this? What? So, everybody starts talking about the Conway as soon as Conway <laughs> is I the mean, Conway free? Yes, the Conway will be free. What? Uh, yeah, I, I However, if you want the full version, you. Uh, you have to go to Reggie's train to buy his crossing. That means I have to go get, um... Well, most of the crossings that I use on the on the route are Reggie's Freewares, except for three crossings that are on the mains. That uses, uh, uh Reggie's Paywares, which I will change, in a, like, as a, as a, you know, just like how I did with the Saginaw sub-release. You'll have a, a download that has payware and freeware crossings and then one down that has nothing but freeware crossings so you can you can choose if you have reggie's crossings and you want the high, higher quality crossings then you would use the payware ver or the reggie's version rather than the freeware version me personally i'd rather use the payware crossings because i don't like the dls crossings Just waiting to get to get on WIT Simulation Discord. If you want to get on the WIT Simulation Discord, go to the uh, go to our website at wtsimulations.com. Sign up, and I'll send you a Discord link in your email. Bless you, bless you. Oh, wait. I think Thank I you. think he I think he did. So I was talking to him yesterday. And he was and he was saying something about that, and I sent him the information. Do that. Hold on. One more. Bless you. There it is. <sighs> So wait, which cr Chris, which crossing would they have to have for Reggie's? Because there are uh, three packs. Oh, you already signed up? Uh, send me, uh, do you have me on Discord? You want me to get him? Because he's on my Discord right now. Oh, here, you, s you send, send him this. You, you, wait, you can make invites and invite him. That's what I was going to say. That's what I said. Do you want me to send him an invite? Send him an invite. Go. Because he's on my Discord server right now. You bought a new era and had to refund it, Bill. Well, why'd you have to refund it? <laughs> God! Okay, wait, did you? Because he was not satisfied and he couldn't run on his uh, non gaming computer. <laughs> After we tell people <laughs> numerous times that it, you need a, a I, good gaming PC for it. I bought, I bought trains a new era to run on my Dell Optiplex 390 that has an Intel i3 and internal graphics. I I bought 
I bought and an air cool. Did, I bought train right. the new era to run on my Dell Compact. <laughs> my Dell Compact. <laughs> I brought train the new era to run on my on my Enigma Enigma machine. I bought breaking I news. Bought a train. And of God train. places stuff down in DM. <laughs> I bought I, I bought train the new era to run on my, on my uh. Oh, was it the IBM ThinkPad? Make sure, guys, if you do like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, obviously, and I'm not ending. I'm not ending the stream already. We've only been going for maybe an, an hour, thirty minutes. So, make sure to like and all that fun stuff. Um, make sure to do your homework. If you've already done it, then ah, you've done your homework for the day. Give yourself a pat on the back and go about your day. After the stream, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your starting week. As we begin a new Monday, um, the videos sense. will be coming back here soon. Um, I'm getting some uh, things scripted out for what I want to do. Um, I'm still pondering on, like, I've already got maybe a one fourth of it finished of my little commission that I've been, but I, that I've been given to do by DC 2057. Um, and so I'm working on it. I'm still pondering on if I should record it or just do a stream once it's done. Um, but I'm also debating on, on whether to... Uh, if I release it, I might release it as a... Also on the same day, if I get it done with the Conway. Per se. Because it's not, it's not yeah. a major route. Yeah. Well, there's your first problem. You bought it on Steam. That's your first problem. Never buy a train from Steam, in my opinion. Nope. I did. I wouldn't. I bought it on trains. Accidentally. Four years ago. If you knew, Conway buys the deep end and scraps the travel pit. And excess lines not in the city. <laughs> Nah, uh, no, that didn't make me laugh. And excess lines? Oh my lord. I don't think the Conway would have that much money. I got Chain to run on my Raspberry, raspberry Pi. <laughs> 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 I bought Trains New Era to run on my Nintendo Switch. I bought hey, Chris. I bought Trains New Era to run on my Blackberry. Hey Chris. Yeah. You did set the handbrakes on those gravel cars, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're they're fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, run away. <laughs> run away cars! That would be... I would make that a session idea. Oh, we got a runaway coming down the D-Bay right, right now. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? <laughs> that, I would make that a session. <laughs> that would be a great session. All right. <laughs> so, you, like, you have to get up to speed. Yeah. Like, so you he'll break the knuckles and you don't derail. <laughs> this this isn't <laughs> We're not unstoppable here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but still I think it'd be a neat set but you know like you know say hey we got some there were some kids at the rock quarry playing on some twain. Playing on some twain. <laughs> <laughs> what were they, five years old? Well, Chris, what is, would you consider this hillbilly country? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say Maybe that. This part? No, not this part. Uh, All right, you go on do your thing. I have an idea. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, it's your turn, Chris. <coughs> 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 
Mm. All right. So we're lost all courtesy for muting our mics for one piece. <coughs> now. <laughs> Remember, guys, eat at Joe's. Is that Joe's Crab Shack? I don't know. <laughs> it just says Joe's. So what we're going to do. What's the menu? Let's see. I said we put a maglev down. I thought you didn't get the steam pack. Or is this something else? That's just oh, something else. Those, those are included with the pack. Yeah. These are included with DBEV. Yeah. Oh, oh, with the DBEV, they're not part of the steam I thought they, they look like they're part of the steam pack. Like, they're the same models. Oh, no. <laughs> Deep have got an upgrade. I think a 484 is a little excessive. Just oh, a little? No. You think you, you think a 484 is excessive? Hold up. Oh, no, not 1218. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> oh, because Chris can't drive a steam engine in a uh, driver mode. I really can't. I fail every you time. You need to learn. I feel like 765 would visit the DBEV. A T1 on oh DBEV? How about an A class? Yeah, A class. That works, Chris. You think that's excessive? <laughs> we I don't know. There were. Um. I maybe if 611 comes back to Strasbourg, they might bring 1218. I doubt it. The, I, the, I mean, it's um the weight distribution is uh, lighter. It's lighter than 611. Seven sixty five. So yeah, that's what. Uh, I mean, that'd be really. I don't know how the clearance would do for it. <laughs> now here's the thing: once you get up, once we get up the driver, we have to come back down backwards. And if we're going to take the, if we're going to take 765, all right. Better give it a diesel. No, don't need no diesel. Oh, we, the tool we, car. We need the Fort Wayne Historical Society car. Can you use a big boy? Alright. Chrissy downloaded the, the tr Trains Forge big boys, right? No. No. He downloaded the TBS FES, right? No. I have so much. I have so much like UP stuff in my car, in my game. It's like I don't know what to do with. Cause I got Trains Forges uh, um, UP Northerns. I got the Back Shops Northerns. I got Challengers, Big Boys. It's like I don't have a route to run these on. I mean, 
765 doesn't really look too out of place, but she might be just a little too heavy for the trackage. Yeah. That's the only thing. I mean, see, that right there looks beautiful. Yeah, the other thing I... Yeah. Here we go. Multiplayer session. 765 goes up the grade, breaks rails. M m main MOW crew has to go out and fix the track so the train can come back. Put a DD40? No. That would be excessive. <laughs> now, you know what would look out of place? <laughs> you know what would look out of place? Hold up. Hold up. What is he up to? Yeah, what's the AC6000? Oh, your Conway. Boys, your boys got lost. They need to go back home. What do you mean they got lost? Conway bought the d bev What nah. do you mean? I saw that headline. Popped up in this news feed. News feed? <laughs> yeah, there's all these breaking news headlines. WMSR? Western Maryland Scenic. I don't think I have the Western Maryland Scenic. Honestly, you know, there's a few things from Steve I'd like. I just want routes to run everything. On. I mean, the, the coal country fits so many railroads. What do you got? You can do Western Maryland on it, PRR. Yeah, CSX, Norfolk Southern, Conrail. Yeah. The DBEV Special Excursion this week has the Nickel Plate Road 765 coming down from the Fort Wayne Historical Society. DBEV crews are going to be loading up. They're going to be taking the trip today up to Drybrook, letting the train get a roll by, then go back. With dinner, with uh, lunch being included, our trip begins at noon at the Estopus Valley Station. Meet us there. Ready would fit in Coal Country. Any new freeware for Steve? It's been a little bit. I know he doesn't do too much freeware. Man's gotta make a living out of it. I reckon that's the only thing he does now, nowadays. Yeah, his last pay work came out with the, um, 475, it was Nor the Norfolk and Western Combine and Coach. He hasn't, and he's got a few sessions for train, for Tain. He's got a session for Coal Country and the Eagle River, if you got the, um, his content. The people would gather around the uh, Asopa station, as uh, so, well, the foamers really would be uh, all around the station waiting, listening. And rail fans, it wouldn't just be foamers. Listening, waiting. As you can hear, 765 getting inching closer and closer to the uh, to the station. Meanwhile, the whistle is just unlucky number 13. Number 13 is kind of. Somewhere. I don't know where, <laughs> where they threw her at. Just change the, um... Brain crap is used. Turn it down. Chrissy, clone the, um... The, um, whistle asset for 765. Change the bell on it, and then put that as the bell on Lucky 13. Oh, okay, so I've learned how to change bells on engines. Um... Uh, hello. Um, uh, thank you, Chris. I was about to take... You got rid of that. Yeah, yeah, I was... I, I, um, hello? <laughs> That's just one of those people that just have nothing better to do with their day. Um, what the heck? Did you, did you time? 
I mean, I, I mean, if they're wanting to try it out and see what YouTube's doing, then go ahead. I don't, I don't care. Go on some streamers game go or streamers. Go on, go on a streamer that has bit more you subscribers, because then it gets hidden in the thing of above it again. Yeah, and he'll just ignore you. Is it's unreal here? I have no idea. Probably not. Um. Boom boom. Hello. Alright. No, he's not in here. He's not popping up when I try to tag him. Is there a session there? for... Did they make a session for Lucky 13? Yeah. It, oh. com it comes when you buy it. Nice. People would start start cheering along along this line here as people people would have their cameras out as they hear the whistle of 765 inching closer and closer. And then it derails. And then it derails because I'm driving it. Uh, because the engine's too heavy. Bring me. Yeah, woohoo! Text message. It's not even that. Uh, somebody either requested something on my site or someone sent me a message on my website. No, it's I love you 96 trying to join my Discord server again. Mm. Mark, you know, I... For the umpteenth time. No. <laughs> no. Can we IP ban him? Or is he? Or is he using like a VPN or something? I don't know. Says hello. This is before uh, 13 was uh, up and running. DBev wanted to try this out and see how it runs, so they acquired 765 for a weekend. And it was an absolute failure. No, this is, this is what led for 13's restoration. I'm just making up nonsense, don't, don't mind me. Hi, AJS Real Fan, how you doing? Here we go again. So wait, how did the railroad afford 765 come in here? They didn't afford it, they, they used um, Thomas. They used Thomas? <laughs> they, used the, the, they used the dummy Thomas. Well, I guess they, they decorated their Alco, their Alco RS1 as Mavis. <laughs> like Strasburg. Which it looks kind of weird. Oh, I, I overshot that. Back up. There you go. Perfect. People would load on board onto the train and then they'd be good to go. I have no idea where those uh, units are. Why are you up here? Dave, why are you. Oh. You guys, probably where I told you to go. <laughs> Didn't realize it. 
Hey, can you drive to a surface, please? <laughs> Debev Interchange Track 3. Go on. How far are you? He's up in Drybrook. There's no passing sightings. So this is when, uh, I guess, people would be getting on board the train. People would be getting ready as they're waiting for the the local haulers to come back down. And uh, I guess they'd be taking pictures and stuff of the locomotive. People would be, you know, getting some inside of the locomotive. Stuff like that, you know? Hi, AGS Rail fan. How you doing? Uh, it's $7.65 to blow the whistle. Seven dollars and sixty-five cents just to blow the whistle for uh, twelve seconds. Well, it's six eleven whistle blows for five dollars. So I guess they're doing all that right then. And so, where are you? Where, how far are they? I'm probably just going to delete them. Act like they made it back. They get yeeted. And then continue on our drive. Well, how long would well the engines would be at the station for a while? Yeah, but I'm not gonna wait that long. It's nine o'clock. What time is it? You have a like an eleven thirty departure. Come on, Chris. <laughs> I <don't care. laughs> well, we're gonna act like you know it's eleven thirty. Environment here. See, I'll make it 11:30. There you go. Oh, here we'll make it 11. It, uh, we'll make it 11:29 on the dot. That way we got one minute to departure. The train blows his whistle, signaling that it's ready to depart. We have less than 50 seconds before. Yeah. Hello, Vermillion Rail fan. How you doing? So, so what we're what we're acting like here, uh, this is before 13 was re rebuilt. And right to the process of being rebuilt. It was in the process of being rebuilt. And the DBEV wanted to see how profitable one of these would be. So, they done this whole thing with the 765, just to see what what could happen. A lot of people what turned. <laughs> and a lot of people turned. A lot of people turned out. So this is the first passenger run on the DBEV. Blah blah blah. Yeah, don't take me that. I'm not the guy who wrote the history. Now you need to uh, get the. Uh, now you need to get the uh, dummy Thomas and do do a test day out with Thomas. How far would you go out with day out with Thomas? Would you go forward or would you go back towards the city? It's 11.30 on the dot, the train departs. I'd probably go forward for the, uh, for the, whatchamacallit. Okay, well, how far would you go? Because Strasbourg does, like, a 15-minute ride. I mean, I know they don't have the biggest railroad, but I don't know what other, how long other rides are for Dale with Thomas at other railroads. I mean, I don't really worry about Thomas the Tank Engine, in my personal opinion. Anybody need some KFC in their lives? As some train watchers and some train chasers gather around watching 765 depart the Sopus Valley. Aren't the traffic lights there supposed to change? No. No, I say, oh, you couldn't get those to program? No, it's not that. That's that's not mine. This isn't my route. Oh, uh, the session? No, but I thought Joe was working on programming the lights, so they changed. Mm hmm. I want to know all the list of projects that Steve has, like, commissioned. I think that would be... I hear he's backed up for another few years. Yeah, I know he's backed up, like, through 2020. 
I'm just curious what people are commissioning. So our I'm train sure. begins. The ride begins. The crossings are from Reggie's Trains website. They are, are they? the, uh, yeah. Most of the crossings on the day bever are Reggie's. Um, they're freeware. Um, let me see. If I'm not mistaken, they are. The Safe Train Candy Lever Pack. Off of ReggieTrains.com. We're down there, Jeffro. Going a wee bit too far. Yeah, that's a bug with some JR rolling stock. Hold D to bell off. Something about the brakes holding the millions of pounds of pressure. Oh, okay. Is that, okay. Joe, is that what Joe responded? Yep. Ah, uh, I, I see. I don't know. I see, now we could do one of the sessions. <laughs> Y'all want to go do the MOW session? Oh, it's nine o'clock. I gotta go take my car to the mechanic in the morning. Mm -hmm. I've done so much running around these, this weekend. It's not even funny. I'm exhausted. All right. So, uh, so uh, some of you are wanting to go to the uh, uh, the MOW session. So we'll get us a little roll by here just to finish off this little thing that we were doing, even though as silly as it could be. And then we're gonna proceed to all F4 and return to Windows. Like the background, like if you look at where we are, Chris, and look at the hills, it kind of reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon. How the hell does it remind you of Roller Coaster Tycoon? Oh, yep, uh, like, never mind, I see it. <laughs> I see like, it. Like, what do you mean? Like, oh, no. <laughs> we should stream that. We should stream Roller Coaster Tycoon. No, you should see what me and my buddy Paul did to it. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> we, we broke it. I want to know how people break it. I have not been able to break it. Right. <laughs> we broke it. <laughs> Mattel Electronics presents. All right. Memories of when I was building it. I didn't build this route. This is approach mediums. I built the Conway. This is the D-Bev. But honestly, it's like when you go from route to route, you see everyone's different building style. Yeah. Chris, what we did like if you had to stream, you like I know I don't know what to do, and then you just say here we're gonna assign a route a number between one and however many routes you have. You do that random number generator, <laughs> and say all right, this is what we're doing. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna try the MOW to uh, finish out the evening. Now that uh, Joe told me what was uh, what was happening, even though Reggie said it earlier, but we didn't give it a try. We was and just running up the Fishmans. Uh, hey Chris, would you consider checking out the NS Sedesky set division by ESCD84 on one of your streams today? Well, I could. Is is that a re released on the DLS? I guess. Is that a is that a release on the DLS? I know he he did the yard module, which is amazing. And then his I think the e the um Sandusky module is his newer map, and it's it, it's a it's like amazing. It's like I could have done something like that. The foreman intends to do some track rehabilitation up near Fishman's this afternoon. 
You'll be bringing a cut of MOW equipment to the crews working up there. Crews working up there. Yeah, English. You'll Maybe first need to couple up to a gondola here in the yard. Once that's completed, you can proceed west to pick up the rest of the MOW equipment on the OOS siding track number two. Make sure to keep the caboose at the rear of the train. Ah, press D and it works. Press D to win. And then press B to blow. Wait, do I have to hold in D the entire time? As soon as I let go, the brake cylinder goes right back up. Uh... I don't... <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Joe! Wait. Don't nope, I think we got it. I think we got it. has three engines mm. and they have to use all three of them for a stone load mm. good night VGA hope you enjoy the rest of your evening as well I think some one of the brakes is screwed somewhere y'all hear that what I uh, uh... Or is that like a script with the car rocking? Because I was hearing it a little bit. Because I, like, I don't know every sound of it. It could just be like the track condition because it's set so poorly. That's a very tiny... What? I know you can set the size of the arrows. I'd say like 50%. This is Train's new area, yeah. I'm trying, uh, like, it won't let me use my rail driver, so I'm just, you know, doing it by hand right now. Oh, so you, I broke your rail driver again? Yeah. Chris, you gotta learn how to use the keyboard. Apparently. Hey, look that, there! That, I've get, I don't use DCC, like, anymore. I'm all in uh, the realistic mode. I can't do DCC. Big Blue, I love you! I love you, Big Blue! Some, some random foamer. <laughs> B36s. So anybody like uh, just out of curiosity, other than other than trains things, and I know this is a train stream, but um, does anybody else uh, play Overwatch? No, not me. The engine sounds are awful. That's that's an Alco engine sound. Yeah, I've never really liked the sound of Alcos. Which is why Alcos didn't really last too long. I'm speeding! Slowly roll! Well, well, there's also the issue, not too many of the manufacturers that made steam survive into the, well, well into the diesel era. That's why Alco, um, Lima, Baldwin, they didn't last too long. 
Like, I mean, Alco made it, made it a little ways, but it, it um, EMD or sorry, it was what was GM. Like me personally, yeah. Overwatch is one of my favorite favorite games. Other than, like other than you know when I'm taking a break from trains and stuff like that, I play games like TF2, Overwatch. Um, I've also been uh, playing some uh, um, Transfer Fever in the background. The Sims, I love the Sims games. Me and my buddy's been breaking uh, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Just as a side gag. So you're just taking the one gondola up? So far. We have more cars to pick up. Okay. Somewhere. I kind of train still passing. Oh, not there's the end of it. Slow well, your roll, homie. A, it was a TV train, so. True. Proceed to, to uh, proceed to the MOW contest on OOS track number two. All right. So that's Would that be out out of service? Out of service track two. So wherever out of service track two is, it's apparently 1.2 miles ahead. So apparently it's on the dead spur that was track two at one time. That caboose has brake problems. What just happened? All right, never mind. I, I I apparently fixed it. I don't like that bell. Nope, that caboose has problems. Joe, I'm about to drop the caboose. You can't. Well, it won't release. The brake won't release on it. What, the handbrake is applied? No. It's or is not. It just squeal or is it just squealing because of the whatever the track physics? Because I, I don't have... No, it's not squealing because of the track physics. It's squealing because its brakes were applied. Well... That, that's the caboose's problem. I have to be in notch three just to keep going at 10 miles an hour. That ain't right. What you guys ate today? Um. I had Arby's for breakfast and lunch. I had pizza. That's pizza I had pizza today. for dinner. I had, I had a waffle. You're still here? Jesus, you were <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought we were watching YouTube and watching you stream on, on my laptop and just, and just hear your conversations. And, well, I, should, I should at least help say something to say that, oh, I'm still alive. Wait, you're alive? <laughs> that caboose is, is Externally not I am. Soul-wise, no, I'm dead. Birds! Oh, all right, let's see if we hit any semi trucks this time or any tricycles. I don't think I've ever hit a tricycle in a game, and I love how that car just popped into existence. Like, hello, I'm here. Chris, I won't. I can put a few motorcycles as to railroad crossings if you like. There's a kid riding a bicycle, that's good enough. Come here. Get in front of me. <laughs> 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 Chris, I think that's attempted 
murder? Wait, would it be assault with a deadly weapon? <laughs> would you consider a train a deadly weapon? A vehicle is, but are you more control? You're more more well, control of the vehicle than you are. A well, in the state of Ma um, Maryland, um, and yeah. You remember that uh, incident that happened with the Amtrak train and those three Conrail motors? Um, they, I think the engineer got charged with assault with a deadly weapon <laughs> because a locomotive was considered a deadly weapon. Uh, politics, aren't they great? One well, in the Maryland, yeah. I'm just trying to keep speed. Just got a half a mile. Down. The cars are just sitting up here. So we just got to keep uh -huh. the caboose on the back. So we just got to grab these guys. So hey, dude. Why, why you look so down today? No bicycle. No, Dave, Dave you have oh it wrong. Oh my god. No, Dave, you have it wrong. No defects mean no murders. Well, where'd you get where do you get that bulkhead uh, from? Do you guys see this guy's eyes? What are you doing? I came to see if he was all right. Why do you look so down about things? But, um, dude, you need some help. You being like cursed by the devil right now or something? Uh, he's high on something. He, he, it's either that or he got possessed by Satan. Chris, go into the the um the texture map of it and you can go ahead and color his eyes in. <laughs> you know bicycles <laughs> means no defects, exactly. Yeah, that bulkhead's from JR. I'm a, I'm in notch six just trying to keep in fifteen miles an hour because as soon as I as soon as I take off any power, my train's gonna come to a stop because of that caboose. I know, like the brakes are stupid. And it says, look, handbrake is released. Oh, we now. <laughs> Apply it and then release it again. I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he looked like part of the undead. <laughs> You have gone on, you went offline and then back online. On train chat. No. Literally, that's what shows up. Because I just, they just went back in the trains and I just saw that. I'm like, oh. See, as soon as I turn off any power, I'm going to come to a dead, sp dead stop without putting on any brakes. Because of that caboose. I'm up you throw the like throw the brake into emergency to release it. I don't I don't know. I know there's there's so many things with the JR like script, the train script. It's it's weird. That's something they should make a tutorial on. Or at least a guide to it. Well yeah, well we got the locomotive working just fine. That's an NS bulkhead. You stopped way far from that switch. Yeah, I know. That, and that's because I just let loose the power. Oh, hello, Crossing. miles an hour. Oh boy. That means you can do 10. 
Alright, five over the limit, that's legal. We can slowly make it back here. We should make a route based on Norfolk Southern Salute of Grade. The zombie mode? Zombie mode? Huh? Trains versus zombies. Huh? <laughs> who, who, who remembers that? Old thing. I am always amazed at Joe's level of detail in his routes. Like, for real. We all have different palettes and how we build and stuff like that, but Joe does really good with what he does. Talking about me? Once the train is reassembled, you're clear to proceed west to Fishman's. There'll be a crew on the ground near Fishman's, so proceed with caution. Okie dokie. Look, th these cars aren't having any brake problems. Why do I need the caboose? I, I, like, like I said, I don't understand the, the train script. I wonder how the new, like, season two of the PMB is gonna come out. It's gonna look totally different than the original. Than oh the yeah, he, he's been he's been doing redoing a lot of the things uh, for phase one just so phase one and phase two would actually match. Well, you just have to kind of blend it in, kind of, if you can. But it's like you can like if you go for like here the deep app is the new PMB, you're gonna be like what? Speaking of which, Joe hasn't come out with a video in a while. A week? Yeah, it, it, like, I think it's been a couple weeks since he came out with a video. His last one was what? The P the new PMP one? No, um... Uh, Are you No train horn yet, I've been sitting here blowing at it. Um... Uh... No, it was the CSX one, wasn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I must be talking about a whole other YouTuber. <laughs> I'm. I was slightly confused at the zombie thing. Like I did a dark, dark version of me in the Halloween special, but that was it. Bluegrass, all right. detailed forklift and yeah wonder what the poly count is on that I have no idea <laughs> all right so now let's take her on up let's see if that caboose continues to give us problems and it's just this caboose oh. yep you hear that the brakes on this caboose are still on. 
Nev, why does this happen? <laughs> That's a okay. So that's a reskin, the boots. Well, the well, Vermillion. I don't think Chris can drop it. I don't think the session would allow him to continue without it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how Joe set up the session. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would uh, allow me to uh, continue without the caboose. So we're just, you know, it's just going to be there. I think what he should have done is take, like, the um, JR has a Conroe N N7, the a bay window. JR is like a freeware Conroe bay window community. I think Joe should have reskinned that. I think that would look a little more appropriate for a D-Bev. I mean, well, I mean, he just prefers the Koopa. Yeah. True. But I'm just trying to think what the railroad would have gotten. I mean... I, I mean, I don't... It's whatever Joe wants, but, but I kind of feel like a bay window... And I mean, at least a smaller Koopa. And notch eight and as fast as I can get is 17 miles an hour. That yeah, something's wrong with that script. And it's just two loaded local uh, two loaded cars, two empty cars, and a caboose. And I know these two loaded cars aren't that heavy. No, they're not. Oh, he made his map into a zombie apocalypse? Nice. So he got ties, he got ballast. I wonder why he needs the bulkhead and the gondola. I like that motel sign. I like how it's just blinking at the top of it. I don't think it's blinking, I think it's just a frame rate of your camera with the LEDs. <laughs> <laughs> could you Dude, go... Okay, call me. Chris, could you try in DCC mode, or...? Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna do DCC mode. Oh. Uh, Made it this far in this mode, so... Joe, Joe's, Joe, Joe spent so much time on detail, like, so far away from the tracks. It's great, but it's like... I love you, 96. Would like to know your location. Earth. Is there a way to be a car driver on your map? Oh, um, uh, you'd have to. You'd have to put it like an yeah. invisible track, and. Uh, yeah, that's what I did with my airplane. My airplane is invisible track. Speaking of which, I got some more work done on that route. I wor I built another parking lot. You don't need any more parking lots. That one parking lot can park everybody in the whole <laughs> vicinity. Yeah. Uh, it's a smaller parking lot. It's only got like... 15 rows? Uh, it's uh, three doubles and one single. It's only gonna hold like maybe 40 to 50 cars. And I've been working on texturing, so yeah. We're s I'm, I'm getting back into it. I'm starting to fill in my gaps. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that next Sunday on the Conway. The last build stream of the Conway. I need a break. My train club's doing three train shows, three weekends in a row. It's 
It's like, I don't get a free weekend until like, December, like, actually I really don't get a free weekend until after New Year's. I wish I knew what a free weekend was. <laughs> I, I, tell me about it. But once, but once Thanksgiving passes, I'll be working nights. Or not necessarily nights, but evenings, and then my... So I, during the day, I'll be home and get work done. <laughs> so yeah, in trains, you could be a car driver, an airplane pilot, a boat operator, or a boat captain. There's all sorts of stuff. I think trains is like the best, like, like, multi, like, you can do anything you want in trains. Doesn't have to be trains. Like, if you want to build a river and just go down a river in a boat, you can do that. <laughs> I think that'd be really neat. But you wouldn't have like the flexibility of a tugboat or, or of a boat, like you know, having to maneuver. It'd already be done for you. Yeah, you would just be literally just sitting there riding a boat. Yeah, and the track. Same with an airplane. That that would be neat. Creating a, an airport map, and then you have to navigate the um the the, the planes. That'd be ridiculous. That would be neat. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be it. And then you have your runways, like, and it goes right in the portals. Can you imagine eye, like, eye portaling an airplane? <laughs> someone? <laughs> <laughs> Like, here, you have an Airbus, right? <laughs> That'd be stupid, I had to imagine. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, you know, like, the, um, the portals are, they look like tunnels, and you just see, like, a Boeing plane coming, like, <laughs> coming out of it. It's like, what? Like, why? <laughs> I thought you were sending me a train. Oh, I thought you meant and plane. It's, no, it's actually a line of, like, five airplanes. <laughs> We're down to 15 miles an hour thanks to that caboose. Would you like a nice egg in the in these trying times, <laughs> Danny DeVito? <laughs> and so I went pow pow pow. Trains, planes, and boats. Not really. Or it's not wrong. We're just trying to uh get this session done um these ain't our guys are they no <laughs> he said there was some people on the ground so that i guess that's considered some, one of them hey dude is this stuff for you no we still got another four and a half miles and i'm doing 11 miles an hour great <laughs> issues I can't even update my uh, signal script 
because it's faulty. That's on the DLS. It's like they'll, they'll release a new <laughs> script to the DLS and it's faulty. It's like, really? Yeah. Or, or it's not the it's the signal library or whatever it is. Yeah. So I wonder where does it have a stopping at? Um. Oh, we're stopping well, right, right before Fisherman's Gravel. We're not going to well, be. See, Chris, right where you stop, you get to derail your train, go down the hill, hang a left. <laughs> 14, 15, 16, but it says it's five miles away, and we're just at mile mark 10. That's a pretty small map. I didn't realize how small the D-Bev was. I always thought it was bigger. It feels bigger. Yeah, I can say I, I can I can agree on that. Cause you're it's only 18 miles. I think okay, but it's like I'm looking it's like. It's not even that. It starts at mile marker five. Yeah. It's 13 miles. <laughs> if there was a GCA mode in trains. I really don't think uh, GTA mode would uh, work out pretty well in in um, trains. In my personal opinion, we are doing 11 miles an hour. I am all right. I'm just gonna see if I can just drop that caboose. That caboose is just a pain in my side. Look here. I release the caboose. We gain speed. They're, they're still going to get their cars, they're just not going to get the caboose. I'm just looking back at that caboose and just flipping it off as we just leave it, get, leave it behind. I mean, Trains technically is an open world game. You're only restricted by, like, how big the route is. Yes. I mean, I thought, I didn't know how big Joe's that was or your car I mean I your conway's look it's a good size and then you go see my like secondary it's like, yeah we're about 40 miles <laughs> it's like it's like huge it's like yeah oh. there's some trains maps out there are huge I just love how the moment I drop the caboose I gain speed yeah. Dude, I don't get what's up with the brakes on that. I don't either. I've released it six times. So I just have the heck with it. I'm dropping it. I ain't gonna fight with it. Hello, Pittsburgh Line Ralph and how you doing? It's all Chris, it's all the shovels in the caboose. That's holding your train back. It's all the shovels that I left, that, that I left behind <laughs> in the caboose. Yeah. But we, we, well, we had the guy just throw him in the back of that uh, that car there, and so he just threw him back there. So the uh, wait, all the shovels and stuff <sighs> are back there, and the brakeman just got back here and uncoupled it. Like, yep, we're just gonna leave that back here. We'll grab it on our way back. It was nice seeing that semi with the uh, bulldozer load go right through the bridge. <laughs> He's like, you didn't see nothing. Eleven foot eight, yeah, right. <laughs> Debev is one of your favorite routes. Nice. I like Debev. I like the Debev myself. I'd have some. I'd have Where's fun you? with the Debev with the excursion. You got your first. Nice, nice. What's up, Shooter Simulations? How you doing? And a happy birthday to you as well. Uh, Pittsburgh line rail fan it birthday or he recent so I don't know if it today is his birthday yeah it's his he birthday recently had oh happy birthday yeah I'm with you Derek
Alright, it's quarter to ten. I think I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys around. Later, dude. Later. Thing sounds like a sick big ass bumblebee. Could you like could you imagine like buzzing across your screen right now? <laughs> it's a bit quiet on the Discords. But right now it's just let's see. Let's see make our way up to cat skills. See if we can get this objective done before ten o'clock. It's at 14 minutes, four miles to go, and we're doing 25, we're doing the speed, we're doing 25 miles an hour. So I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. First time I've actually had the down, down power. There we are. Like how the the uh, the more down home music starts playing as we get further up in the mountains. A swarm of bees. More than welcome to. All you gotta do is just sign up at the wtcmlaces.com. With the way these things rev up, it sounds like somebody's, you know, holding a clutch and just putting in the gas, just, <laughs> just little by little, Boom, and just revving it up. <laughs> I just imagine, like, for some reason, instead of all the knobs and stuff, just pedals, and we're just sitting here driving it. <laughs> That'd be stupid. I have you in not six. Why does it sound like you're like dying? When it revs up, it sounds like someone's pulling a cord to start a lawnmower. You're not wrong. <laughs> Oh, they got the lawn more started now. Time to cut some grass. When dependencies are listed as unknown, that means they're on some other website. Like Jonah Grill, for example. Like if you download something from Jonah Grill, you have to make sure you download all the dependency packs for whatever you're downloading for. That is what re where you find all those missing dependencies. The reason that they clarify them as unknown is because they're not on the DLS. They're only available through the website. So that's why you have to make sure whenever you download anything from any external websites that you have to make sure that every dependency uh, that is not found on by, by the download station is to be found on their website, such as any or download dependency packs. Like Jonah Rail has dependency packs ones, twos, three, four, whatever, and then uh, if you still have anything missing, then try talking to the creator, see if he can find out what could be the uh, what could be missing, what could be missing assets. Ask them what different uh, asset versions they have or that you have in consideration to them. 
So just make sure that uh, you find all of the empty spaces before you give up on it, per se. You all can hear me, right? <laughs> uh. Loud and clear. All right. Okie dokie. So we don't have much further to go. Three miles. Nine minutes. We might make it up there. Finish the session right at 10 o'clock. And that would be perfect time to uh, end out everything. So next Sunday, just letting you all know, uh, we're going to be doing the last build stream of the Conway. And then uh, the Conway does have a release date. This is going to be December the 27th. As of right now. So, if anything changes, I will let you all know. But as of right now, that's the release date is December 27th. So, uh, that'll be going up on the website. It'll be for Tain SP3, and then if you guys want to play it on TRS-19, you can. Just letting you know that the crossings will not work until I make a TRS-19 version of the route. Or unless you want to redo the crossings yourself. That's totally up to you. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video and the stream, which I really hope y'all did. I mean, it was, all, it was all mostly voted on my Discord. If you're not a part of my Discord, then go sign up for my website at WITSimulations.com and I will send you a invite to the WIT Simulations Discord where you can join in on conversations, screenshot competitions, and stuff like that. Speaking of which, uh, this week's winner of the screenshot competition got to find it in my pictures here. Give me just a second. He was in the chat here a few moments ago. Let me find... Uh... There it is. Let me put this here. Here is the winner of this week's screenshot competition. It was Unit Train. Uh, this week, or uh, this week, going from uh, uh, Friday to Friday, will be uh, uh, Conrail. That's the theme of this week. So uh, that was last week's. Last week's was Unit Train. This week's is Conrail. So if you are a part of my Discord, put in your favorite photo and and uh, comment or vote for your best. Vote for the for, vote for your favorites, really using the golden W icon. If you'd like to subscribe? Great. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. Something didn't start at this time. I need to slow down. I was doing the screenshot competition thing. Point four, two and a half miles left to go. We're gonna be stopping here. We're gonna be helping these guys. Hopefully, they didn't need the caboose. Well, I greatly appreciate it, guys. And if you want to help support the channel and become a beta tester for anything that we do, you can uh, do do that by going to patreon.com forward slash WIT simulations. You can subscribe for just one dollar, but I do uh, have some different uh, different tiers, and different tiers get different things. Because in my fifteen dollar tiers, they get to uh, they get to beta test and get uh, routes that we deemed that we didn't want to release to public, and some other things like um, they get to beta test uh, the routes. That we're working on. I have a few. I have a bunch of a bunch of my uh, 
all, like most of my patrons are my my uh, beta testing team for the Conway, and they've been giving me some nice feedback on that as well. So that's if y'all want to. Is there a link to your Discord? Um, yeah, there's a link to the. There's a link to the Discord once you sign up through the uh, WIT Simulations website. All you have to do is just sign up and I send you, like, it's, it sends it automatically to your email. And uh, once you get that email, you get the, the Discord link. I don't make the Discord link, like, public to everyone because, I, like, it's, it's been attacked before and I'm not about to have that again, if you know what I'm saying. Even though our engine sounds like it's about to die, I think we're doing good. Two miles. This locomotive is gonna make it. It just does not sound like it's gonna make it. What is the route called from ESCD 84, the new one? I'm not sure. I was told about it earlier, so it's in the chat somewhere. We need a weed sprayer. I think that would be sufficient. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did this go into a random cam? I didn't tell you to do that. Did I tell it to do that? I don't think I did. I don't think I hit three. Unless I accidentally did and I just didn't even realize it. That was slightly confusing. Sandusky District. It'd be really nice if you would make a route based off the Norfolk Southern Saluda Grade. I love how when someone done the Saluda Grade, er, that's what everybody's talking about now is the Saluda Grade. Yes, it's all known that it's the biggest grade in the in North America. However, it's completely abandoned. In the chase view, you must have hit three. Yeah, I know. I just don't think I... I just don't remember hitting three. Well, I best slow down. Slow down. There you go. We're doing exactly 20. So now we just need to glide.
Yep, we're gonna be stopping here. Me and two other people are doing the WLE things. Nice! Ladies and gentlemen, as our train is coming up to its end, I'd like to thank you all for joining me here today. This is going to be the end of our stream for today. Uh, we're going to be streaming again next Sunday. Uh, again, I do apologize that the only time I can stream, stream on Sundays, but listen, I can't really push myself to do a whole lot more or else this is going to just burn me out, alright? So I'm trying to get everything into where, you know, but they have a, a nice steady pace of content, different content, things to look at, things to build, things to see. So that's what I really want to get up to. I really appreciate you guys. Um, really appreciate you guys uh, joining us here today. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening. But I'm going to let the song carry us out. As you all know, this is the DBEV theme song. And I'm allowed to use it because of the... Uh, of the what I have the... Um, it's the epidemic sounds thing. Yeah. I'm over speeding. <laughs> Just realized that. But I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. As always, guys, I will see you on down the line. Bye bye.